Okay, so I guess the part one, and I'm just going to go into, uh, we'll start with the wind, I suppose. Um, this obviously, this system is still a major work in progress, but at least I've got something up and running right now, and um, the rest will be fun just to add components. Um, and of course, this stuff is super addicting. Um, anyone that starts getting tinkering with this stuff will tell you it's freaking addicting. It just can't stop. I can't stop thinking about it at night. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm up all night scheming things in my mind and how to rig this up and that up. And anyway, um, enough of that. But let me just get into the the uh, wind part. So I've got the wind turbine up uh, on my roof, and I'll I'll show you that in a moment. Um, right now, this is just a um, weather station. Probably the best one you can get for the money is this Davis Vantage View. I think it was about $400. The, the key with this one, in addition to being able to log in every single data point you can think of, um, from wind, here I'm just on, here I'll give you the highs. So let me go to my wind, actually go to here, high low. So that'll show you today's high, highs, 6 mile an hour wind from the east. Um, Give you the high temperature outside 70 degrees 61 degrees inside in this garage let's see some other highs oh, those are lows we had 26 mile an hour wind in December 76 degrees uh, outside and then let's see for the year 31 degrees I'm sorry 31 uh, miles an hour where it was our high wind and that 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 was an interesting day because I had just taken off all of my components off I was building this this box to hide all my wires and uh, wind was cranking 31 miles an hour and um, my turbine was free spinning uh, freewheeling which is not a good thing it can damage your um, alternator your PMA so anyway I'll get more into that later so First component in any wind system is you really need a good high um, um, speed, I would say, um, weather station. Why I got this, in addition to all these cool data um, logging things here, is the transmission time. On most of these things, you'll see them, they're $100, $200. You read into it deeper, you find out that it takes 30 seconds or 20 seconds or 15 seconds for the data to be transmitted to here. So if you're trying to compare your amps that your wind generator's creating um, to the wind, you, it's not working. I mean, you're going to have a 30 second, 20 second delay. It's pointless. So that's why I invested in this one. This gives me that information literally, um, I think it's five seconds, three seconds. I think it's three, five seconds. So it's pretty instantaneous. Um, so anyway, that's the first component to your wind system. The second component, of course, is going to be um, you need some kind of a disconnect braking mechanism. What this box does, which obviously you can see Missouri Wind and Solar, I got this from, got a lot of great information from these guys from their website. Uh, seems like pretty good equipment. I haven't had any problems with it. Um, anyway, what this does is you rig your... Uh, your your turbine your three phase in this case I, have th I went three phase three phase wire to this box um, it'll and then it comes out you can see the three phase wire comes out so what it does is this box allows me to break it meaning stop the turbine basically is crossing these three wires and is creating a, such a load on this turbine that it can't spin so you're breaking it, it effectively it's almost like a disconnect. You can also go in a free spin where you truly are disconnected, but then your turbine will free spin out of control um, and damage the alternator. Um, or you can leave it on, <laughs> which is obviously the goal. Um, and you can generate power. Um, then it comes from the three phase. I'm going to start a new video.